That is the perfect intro to a uh, <laughs> to a stream. There we go. Right. What else do I need to do? I need to do this. Ta da! As if by magic. This is actually the title card, isn't it? How's everyone doing? Are you all there? Oh, that's right. I need to do one other thing. Uh, wait. Let me do this and this. There we go. Oh, that's nice. So let's get that up and then bring this back up. And there we go. Now, what's the sound balance like? Everyone can hear me? Good. Oh, there we go. That's nice. <laughs> oh, what a day. Hi. Uh, right, uh, people are playing SimSig, so what I'm going to do is, what am I going to do? Everything's frozen in time, there we are, nice little cloud of smoke that we can um, puff through. I'm going to show you what we've been up to. What's the sound like? Sound balance? A kitten ate one half of Jen's earbuds, that's, that's problematic to be honest. So, things have changed since we were last in this uh, land, whatever we're going to call it. Let's head to where we were before. Oh, that smells nice. We were up here, weren't we? We'd, we'd just built a, a bit of a rail freight network to feed into the city or, or the town of Shanklin. Uh, yeah, so we had a bit of railway. So that's been expanded. As you can see, there's now kind of a bit of freight connection up to... Uh, uh, oh, good. I'm glad. Thanks, Ella. It's not as jittery. I'm pleased about this. This is SimCity music. If this is not royalty free, can someone tell me so I don't get a, a, a thing on my account? But I think it is fine. Um, anyway, right, so. Uh, by the way, I'm drinking. What am I drinking? My favourite. It's, it's, it's not actually my favourite, but it's just a beer I'm drinking a lot of at the moment. Yeah, Dead Pony Club. It's very nice. Uh, met about Brewdog, but this beer is very nice. Um, I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit because it's very loud. It's all in the planning, yes. So as you can see, there's a bit of railway expanded. And actually, compared to the original railway, which is a bit weavy, some of these railway lines are a bit more... Uh, they're a little bit more substantial. I absolutely love the original SimCity uh, soundtrack, by the way. Not the original, what about the, the newfangled 2013 City? Yeah, the, the, the music is absolutely stunning. Who is it? Chris Tilton who'd put it together. Absolutely fantastic. And just sit up right in here. So, we've got these disparate networks. So that's the network connecting up to, to sort of Shanklin. But there are other networks as well. So, for example, let's head over uh, over here. So we've got a little, you can see there's a little isolated uh, quarry and place building bricks. So that's now actually, uh, so you can see it's actually building and shipping bricks over to, over to here. So there's some bricks going on. I think those bricks then actually get transported up. No, they don't. But they could get transported up to Flitic and transported elsewhere, so that's that. What's the sound balance like? Uh, yes, yeah, City Skylines is a vastly superior game, but the soundtrack of SimCity is excellent. Uh, so I always play City Skylines listening to the SimCity soundtrack. Sorry, EA. Um, so we've also got this network down here, which is which is essentially a primarily got a little industrial thing. God, this is this is loud. It's loud in my ears. Is the balance all right in yours? Uh, yes, good. It's a properly good score. But it might also get us uh, demonetized. So I just need to... I've Googled it as much as I can, and I can't tell whether it's royalty-free, but people game with it on in the background and don't get a strike. So I presume it's okay, right? The music could be a little quieter. That's good. That's good advice because uh, I've just been resetting up my OBS. I've just dropped down to 40. How's that? Is that better? Too quiet? Let's go for 32, minus 32 dBs. Uh, there we are. How's that? Is that better? Uh, good. So, where are we? Is that better? Uh, yes, I haven't decided to abolish the treasury in this playthrough. I don't know why I was doing it with money. I hate, m money doesn't exist. Capital money, like, you don't start, it's such an unrealistic thing to start with a random miniature budget. <laughs> 
because it just basically these games are trying to compromise the fact that they're creating out of nothing when actually nothing created out of nothing there's a load of individuals with capital there's a load of rich slave owners with capital there's a load of uh etc so money just you know magically appears because capitalism doesn't really exist as a self-contained system um so yeah what was i doing i was showing oh yeah that's right so we've got another system over here which is um oh yeah it can sort of show it off what's the best way to do this i wonder i think if i do this uh do this and then oh that's i can never quite there are ways to do the overlay on this that so if i close that and then do nope um that that stuff it that will do that for now so there's also this railway over here which is a bit of a kind of a, a again it's a brick delivery system and then over here we've got all the purple is a food and so all these are kind of individual companies as i generally when i play this game what i generally do is um uh, let's do this and this i generally kind of uh come up with a company so you can see here mag hole uh is it mag mag hole yeah mag hole jams and jellies limited so uh all these purple lines are uh, mag hole jams and jellies uh so you see the jams and jellies there being delivered in all directions um so it's actually given us so so we've got an industrial railway so this is these are all industrial railways there is one um there is only one passenger railway which is over oh the other thing i've done by the way uh is lots of as, as is much more realistic when you've got a coastal map lots of shipping so there's a lot of shipping um so this is the the, the green stuff here is for the uh, the Halewood company that does all sorts of stuff they make they make packages here and there's sort of all sorts of delivery that's mostly ship based but the bit of railway here so it's often it was the case like kind of when railways were starting out they were generally self-contained and owned by the company often owned by the company that was doing the doing the industry um so you see the red here is for the um the kingston ferry company so i think they've got or the, what is it the kingston shipping company or other what are they called oh yeah kingston sea lines limited uh they're 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 kind of shipping out but you can see lots of lots of shipping along, around the coast so it's kind of the first form of mass transit really was coastal shipping um you can see there's another company here the i think it's the orpington ferry company maybe let's uh let's do this and do this so we can see what's on screen yeah the orpington shipping company um is elon musk a fraud yes um so uh so that's the something and we've got some uh so we've got some ferry hubs here so obviously there's, there's kind of some ferry action going on here you can see actually passengers are building up quite quickly and there is i did set up a small stagecoach connecting up some of the cities on our little sort of um uh i think i said i think i did i call this the eastern isles oh it's the western Isles. so on our this is like the western seaboard along here it's where it all started out but actually uh, sort of started around the city of shanklin but this um this little it's already got busy look it's already rammed look at all these people they're socially distancing because they're responsible look, they're all socially distancing waiting for a stagecoach uh not the one that's being driven by uh freya clark over here she's uh she hasn't got any room in her in her little uh stagecoach in her little horse trap so there's quite a lot going on so what i'm thinking is basically does this game work on mac i'm one of those people annoyingly I, I think it's got a mac version being released soon actually i don't know anything about games basically but there is a mac version being released soon uh for this i think so um correct me if i'm wrong on that one but uh yeah um so anyway so what i'm thinking is we need to open our first um our first oh yeah that's right i didn't actually show you the passenger railway so there's a load of ferries but over here where is it orpington no down here uh, yes, there is a little passenger railway that was opened on this island. Over there. There's a nice, nice little island here. It's nice, isn't it? Little island. Well, a little railway was opened. Um, there it is. Train number ten. What are we calling this train? Who's uh, who's shotgunning? Uh, who's shotgunning this train? Uh, so Hyperloop has nothing to do with Elon Musk. Everyone says it's Elon Musk, but it's absolutely nothing to do with him. He came up with the idea originally on the back of a serviette. But it was nothing. But that, he basically only came up with a name because his concept was radically different from what what Hyperloop has turned into. I'm not calling it Steve. I'm not calling it train name. Uh, uh, tempting, tempting. There we are. Purple flyer. That'll do for now. So that's a nice little passenger train. So that's the first passenger train running on our map. 
but you can see it's not very long. It sort of whittles along through the through on, along the island, sort of tickles along the coast here, and um, ends up over here in Uckfield. Uh, so that's very nice. There, right? Just a little little station, but it's got a very nice little quite a grand station building there. In any case, we are going to build a new passenger railway from Leighton through Flittick, Shanklin, and then we're going to go up through. Um, where are we going to go? We're going to go up through... I don't know what route. Well, what route should we take? Well, I'm thinking we probably need to go via this place because it's got a decent passenger demand, uh, which then means we need to work out how to get up to... what we have to do up here to deal with these various um, uh, settlements. I'm thinking we actually connect... We kind of go around... So I'm thinking Blackpool, then Southport... Uh, the thing is, there is already a bit of railway here. So, as is the day... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the long delayed purple train. Oh, yeah, the purple train. Oh, that's a very good point. That was a joke. That was a gag just waiting to be had there, wasn't it? Uh, uh, lovely. The thing is, un unlike the unlike its namesake, this is uh, miles ahead of... Uh, of shed Like, it's way ahead of everything else. It's the first to open, whereas Crossrail... Nope. So we have to work out how, how we're going to get down. So so there is a lot of there is now a lot of functioning railway around, as we can see. If I if I get this layer back on again, you can see there's quite a bit of railway. But this one along the coast is, is very industrially busy, and actually maybe we just want to sort of bypass that, which means that perhaps we'll have a junction here and then split out onto its own. And particularly if we're going up to to Bungay up here, it's such a stupid name. Should we rename this place? Yeah, we're renaming it. Who's on the chat? <laughs> Nice. There we go. Uh, thanks, thanks, Jen. Uh, right. Freight is important but boring. That's your hot take. Yes, I know. Uh, that sort of is true in this game as well, actually. In any case, what we're going to do, I think, is... Do, do, do. Uh, and this is the way I generally build in this game. It's probably the same for others. I position the stations first. But here, we've kind of got a station in Flitic already. So my instinct is actually that I'm going to expand this station to become the passenger station. And actually, what I'll probably do is... The freight will come out here and I'll, uh, there'll be a bit of a freight station, but this this sort of bit will be the, the passenger station. So we'll use the existing um, there. Likewise, we'll build some uh, loops. Oh, actually, it's already got a loop, so, that, so that's fine. Likewise there, so that, that's fine and fine. We'll build a station here for Shanklin, and we'll need then probably need a bus service, or sort of a, a, a taxi rank or something to take to go from the sort of center of the city to, to the station. Uh... We will then kind of come along this junction, which no doubt is going to get really busy. And then I think we'll shoot off in this direction up to Elliottsville. There's Elliottsville. Um, wherever we'll put a station in Elliottsville, I don't know, because it's quite difficult to position stations in these sort of weird, gritty pattern uh, spaces. Uh, yeah, rail freight really does not work realistically in this game. I mean, it's better than City Skylines, but it's it's not great, to be honest. Um, it's pretty rudimentary. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's kind of f fine. But, uh, anyway, so, um, and yeah, then we have to go up to, go up to Blackpool with a station, and then I think go across, connect up to Stevenage, Orpington, happy days. What that does mean is that Southport will kind of not be connected. So maybe what we want to do is actually skip Blackpool and get a station in Southport early doors. Maybe that's what we want to do. What do you think? What do you think? Are we going to, do we want to connect Southport with... Uh, with Flitic off the hoof. Should we just do that? Now what? So we've got Leighton down here, which needs food and brick by the look of it. Um, but I think that'll become a... I think it'll be a branch line, to be honest. Leighton's quite large, that's the thing. So I, I kind of like to... Pro so let's, let's see what size, what's the biggest we've got. Uh, oh, Leighton is... Oh, it's not that big. Okay, it's fine. I'm thinking all the big 200ers are the ones we kind of want to connect. Um, actually, Blackpool isn't a particularly big one, is it, either? So, hmm. Essentially, what we're trying to do here is create our first, our kind of first and probably core mainline railway. So we connect, connect Southport. What's Southport? 163, so it's not that big. What about Orpington? What's Orpington? 110. Blackpool is 146. Stevenage, 102. 
Yeah, okay, so we're going to grow south. Southport's going to get big, even though it's quite petite at the moment. We're going to grow it. It's going to get bigger. Uh, although for that to happen, we have to build a we have to build a functioning railway station here. So um, we have to decide where that's going to be. So I think that's the first thing we're going to do is, is is build the railway station in. Um, yeah, Jack Elliott is absolutely right. Uh, rail freight is just total nonsense in City Skylines. Uh, I think there's no better review of, of how City Skylines do, could work better and doesn't work than than um, Do Not Eat's uh, review of the state capitalism um, DLC. So, uh, we need to build a station. And it's going to be a passenger station. It's going to start as a... Let's see, where are we going? This is a terminus station, so it's not going to be a big one. We're going to start with a... It's just a little station to start with. Um, yeah. Let's go with... It's going to be a two-station... Uh, little uh, two-platform station here. Actually, you know what? Let's go... Let's start big already. It's going to be a four platform. What's this? Eight? Does it just. Oh, it does upgrade it. I've never actually used, mucked around with the tracks. I always kind of build them manually. Um, anyway, right. So we're going to go for four tracks. Uh, let's start with 80 meters. And we kind of want it to be central. And in such a way that. I mean, we're going to bulldoze things. So sorry, folks. You know, the slums, they're, they're, they're a goner. Um, we kind of want it to be... Oh, yeah, I need to do this as well. Uh, kind of... Right. The old classic City Skylines trick. No. And magically, I have that money now. Hooray! Thanks, HMT. So, let's delete that. And that. What's the sound balance like for sound effects since that's the first Explodey I just did? Um, let's see. Three, just sort of get sort of see what we're doing. Um, oh yeah, that's right. There's a little bit of extra. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, that's nice, isn't it? That's we kind of need it to be vaguely sensibly located. Uh, that's it. Done it. Let's just configure this station a little bit. So for starters, let's get the. Yeah, it's quite a nice grand. Uh, it's quite a nice grand station, isn't it? So let's let's bulldoze this. And actually, build the. Why is that colliding with that? Oh dear. Is it actually? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, I should have positioned it further back. Well, there we go. Such is life. So position that there, and then. Oh, that's that's intensely annoying. Oh, okay. That's a lot of city to demolish, which I'd rather not. Uh, let's do that and then do oh, that big building's gone. It's gone. Uh, and let's do that. Uh, configure this. And I haven't even looked at the chat. What's going on, at folks? Uh, Bulldozing housing, yeah. Well, this is the this is 1856, so uh, so the railway companies give limited uh, shits. So there we go. Let's do that. Oh, that's absolutely horrible. Let's do this at least vaguely. Can I? Can I? Can I? Now that's there. Can I get away with it? Yeah, probably can. Let's, let's see. Such is the game. No, oh, that's not. That will not do. That's horrifying. Uh, why has that done that? Oh, yeah. Let's do that, and then. No, that's curvy. Yeah, that'll do. I'm more at peace with that. Okay. Where were we? We were making a nice station, weren't we? Uh, let's go for. Uh, let's, this is a quite a grand. This is like the main terminus of the. Of the this sort of new railway company, actually. So I'm I'm going to go with uh, let's go for a little little peeper in the middle. How can I do this? Uh, 
don't know. What do you think? I'm I'm going for an architectural aesthetic here, so uh, I'm not I'm not sure actually. What what, what are we thinking? Uh, maybe. Uh, See, I could go for big, grand thing, but I don't think that's... We're not there yet. That's not... We're not... We're not. It's not the place we're at. Uh, so if I put that there, I put that there. Let's see. Now that... If I put that... Where's the little, the little one... Annoyingly, it's like um, it's like not quite even, thanks to reasons. That's fine. So if I put that there, yeah, I think we're going to go for that original. So there we go. That's a nice grand station. Very nice. Um, actually, I will do this. Let's shove in. Two. Always give yourself a bit of breathing space in this game. So I'm going to do, which is what I'm going to do here. Uh, yes. Maglev is cool and good. Who? Jack Elliott, you're sacked. Uh, it is. It is very cool, but it's very the the Japanese Maglev is very cool, but it's it's very late, and it's also hugely expensive. What it is. Um. And basically, the only reason they're building Maglev is because they've finished, they've essentially finished their high-speed rail network. So obviously, if you finish your high-speed rail network, uh, you're going to need to have something to so essentially bypass the high-speed rail network. Um, plus, uh, it has useful earthquake-proofy properties, um, which is another reason for its uh, selection as a system. Right, there we go. There's that. Uh, right, that is now... So this is going to be... We're going to call this railway... I don't know what we're going to call it. Uh, so this is... Uh, what are we going to... What, this is... Southport Great Western. That's it. Because this is going to be the Great Western Railway because it's going to go along the coast of the west rather than the west. So we're just going to screw with things. But that's what it's going to be called. Oh, you know what? Let's... Yeah, we're calling it the Great Western, sauce folks. Right, so. There's sh stuff that's in the way. Uh, how are we going to deal with that stuff that's in the way? Well, uh, probably bulldoze it, to be honest. That's, uh, that's how the railways roll. But we're going to come back to that. So we've built our first major sort of station terminus. Let's go down to the other end, which is where we're going to build the other end of our terminus. So have... it's not it's not a hugely long railway, you know. It's... Uh... Certainly an intermediate, compared to, you know, we need to clearly get up to some of these places. Uh, you know, there's some fairly big towns up here. Uh, there's a, where's, there's a really big town that I'm connecting up to later. Oh, yeah, Burry's clearly got, it's, it's pretty large. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, yeah, Kingston. So this needs to expand massively, so we need to build, and I've kind of already got a bit of a t terminus in there. Uh, but it's for freight at the moment, but it's going to get expanded. That's definitely going to go and connect with... And these things keep disappearing, so I don't know where I'm going. That's got to connect up with them. Um, yeah, we're going to have a long main line to connect up with that, but for now we're just going to do this one here. Uh, yes. Right. So if I'm going to do that, then we need to configure this station here, which is currently Flitic, but it's going to be Flitic Great Western. Which means we need to configure this thing. So... Uh, which means, how are we going to do that? I think. No, I think. Uh, let's have a. Th I reckon we don't even need to expand it in that direction. I reckon we can go with uh, the old. Uh, let's go for some. Tra let's place tracks first. Uh, so, if, if we position some freight, let's get the freight uh, positioned ready for any potential f expansion. But then I think what we'll do is have... Uh, let's have some passenger platforms here. Here. One, two, three. That'll do for now. So what I'm going to do is build us our platforms here. Lovely. Uh, 
Marvelous. Uh, did you want to do that? I didn't want to do that. That was a mistake. Wait, how do they do the platforms up here? Let me go and have a look at the south port. Do they double up? No, they don't. They just single face them. Okay, that's fine. Noted. Duly noted. So, any chat, don't forget to at me in if you want me to see things. Uh, I'm not using a mod that changes. I've just got Spotify on, actually. Um, uh, I'm using SimCity Music because it's substantially superior to the dross that they put into this game. Uh, let's have a think. So, we want to have our... So why is it doing a weird... Why is it doing a thing there? Why is it doing that? That's just weird. Uh, I think we need to do another track. Just there we go. And then put another face in there. Yeah. Uh, let's see if it's going to do that again because it's a bit strange. The, the game can be a bit eccentric sometimes. Uh, so if I do, how much space have I got then to do that? That's it. That why is that now appearing? Jeez Louise. Uh, now can I? Nope, that just screws it all up. Okay, great. So let's try. That's frustrating, isn't it? It's uh. Messing up my beautiful, my beautiful architectural designs. Uh, yeah. Which means I'm going to do. So if I, there we go. Now, can I expand this again? You know what? I'm going to do some more. You might ask why. Pause. There we go. Because I think there are going to be more branch lines connecting into this station than others. And also it gives me some nice symmetry. Um, there's our station. Look at that. It's quite grand, isn't it? So now what we need to do is... Uh, let's put some canopies in. Well, firstly, let's... Um, let's allow people to get from one platform to the other. So that's the that. And then let's cover those up, shall we? Let's maybe give it a full the full canopy. Very nice. It's quite a nice grand station there, I think. Uh are there are side entrances which you can put along here, which I might might do actually. Let's get some of those on the go. Um for now. Right, let's get some Urban Realm on the go, so. Do, 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 do. Now, is it going to do the nasty thing where it goes all horrible? The answer is yes. This game, it's quite, it's quite a thing, you know, it's quite a thing. Straight line, please. Let's just do. Late, that'll do. Too much. Enough. Okay, that'll do me uh, for that. And it's just doing the same thing here, which is just looks dismal. Partly, I think, because of... Oh, God. Ah! I forgot we were bus stop. Maybe that bus stop was causing me the headaches. Was it? No, it was not. Now, if I delete that, is it going to... Nope, that's... I'm a piece of that, that's a bit better. Uh, okay. Now, if 
Can I do... Because this has expanded a bit, it probably needs a... Uh, that's... No, it's going to continue to have a little yard. Fair enough. Oh well, I can't have everything. Uh, the other thing we wanted to do was have this road here, actually, wasn't it? Because that's why I placed a connection on the side. As you can see, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but that's fine. Perfectionism is definitely completely harmless. Um, absolutely definitely. Doesn't cause anyone any problems. So let's just... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. And... Back to this battle again. That'll do. We're going to leave that one there. We'll leave the little extra bit because it can be used as a turning circle. Uh, yes, I do need to put the stop back. Was it a truck stop? It was, wasn't it? Yeah? It was. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, there is the station. It's looking alright. It's looking... There's the station, looking stationy. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. Now all we need to do is um, uh, let's smash this up for starters. Let's just uh, yeah, that'll do. And I'm gonna extend all of the passenger platforms potential passenger platforms because reasons there we go uh, one more the reason it's good to do that and not have the like the track is because it bugs out so horribly when you have to delete a million tiny little segments of track if you um if you do the straight and then decide you want to extend the station at some point in the future so we've got uh two pairs of plat three pairs of platforms there uh, some nostalgia from SimCity, put a bus stop there to improve the look of the turnaround. That's true. I think there will eventually be a, yeah, this will, there'll be a bus station that will then expand soon, definitely. Um, so that will happen, don't worry. Uh, so that's, okay, so that's, that's the two terminal stations of this new big railway. We need to put in our... Here's Shanklin. The the sort of station, the, the sort of passenger station that's going to sit here. But the trouble with the passenger station is that the existing railway whizzes around the outside of the city, which is kind of uh, not that unrealistic. It often happened. You had a station that sort of did that rather than whizzing in. So we could either build a little um, branch line, which I think we might do, or what we're going to do is wait, watch for the ting tings. Yeah, ting tings are always going to happen. Yeah, lovely. Um, now, passenger only station, through station, it's going to be 80 metres in length, yes, and I need to do this. How many tracks are going to be? Well, we need, let's start with two, because this is the passenger bit. It's not the end of the story, because we also need to expand this to, or do we? Maybe we don't need to expand it. Do we need freight loops? I don't know if we do, actually. Uh, possibly. For now, we're not going to. Uh, Shanklin Great Western. There. Uh, oh, I need to do some of the, the old platform extendy stuff. Uh, lovely. And also, let's do the same on the other side, actually. Uh, two. This is the futuristic -y one. Ah! <laughs> The music is so good from uh, from the original SimCity. It's absolutely awesome. I love it so much. Uh, yeah. The trouble with this rather flat... This is going to be the vertical line. It's going to be horrible. Like that. Oh, do not look or pay attention at that. That's fine. It's just a, it's a track bed issue. Let's delete it. Mm. 
we go. Yeah. God. Right. So we have no station. We just need to uh, link it up. So, what are we going to do with this? But first of all, let's get the. There we go. Very nice. Lovely, and let's just do this. Marvelous. Uh, let's just extend this a bit more because you never know. There we go. Just extend that out, and there we go. Let's do something like that and then let's get it out extended to there as well. So we've got some, some town. So we've got a station here. It's a, just a little station, but that's uh it's our intermediate station, so that's fine. Now we need, so at this point, what have we got? We've got um an unconnected bit of railway down here that we're gonna have to do something about, but that's fine. We'll come up with the railway junction design today as well. Uh so we were gonna shoot this off straight, weren't we? So let's do just that. Uh, perfect, lovely. Uh, I'm going to go for this. Is the olden days, so I don't have to design an optimized alignment. In the on olden days, they just went for uh, double junctions. Good old double junctions. Uh, just need to rebuild the level crossing. Yes, thanks. Put bus up there. Not going to lie, some city music with nostalgia. 80 meter station will be way too short, says Michael C. Ah, uh, in the future maybe, but for now. Uh, I'm at peace with the, the old 80 meter station. Actually, I'm going to extend it by one. I'm going to extend it by one. Um, there. Now, has this got a connection to the side? It does. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, let's also give let's give them a lid. There. Uh, and shall we give them a little... Oh. Oh, it's because the road is too close, isn't it? Uh, I hate when that happens. Let's uh, just configure this again and stick some passenger buildings next to it. There, right, let's make it a bit, a little bit wider, nicer, lovely, and start this process again. More perfect. Happy days. There we go. Good stuff. Shanklin Great Western. So that's a nice station. Oh, good passenger station. Oh, satisfying thing. Right. So we've got some terrain to negotiate here. So let's do just that. Um, uh, do the inside of the curve. I'm also deliberately. Well, that's not actually. I'm kind of going. There we are. Don't want to go too. Let's keep this on the level. Uh, there we are. Uh, kind of designing on the inside of the curve. Uh, going to do reverse curve, a little bit of intermediate straight, never hurt anyone. Uh, try and keep this fairly flat since it's a newish build. Let's also work out where we're going first. We're going to Elliottsville, aren't we? Yeah. So we kind of need to make this go right decent. Oof. Uh, oh, I managed to get away without demolishing that field. Excellent. And it seems to go in the right direction, too. What are your thoughts, everyone? Uh, hi, Heel. How's it going? There we are. So we're going to... Right, let's build the station up in Elliotsville, because we haven't got a station here. Uh, we need to think about which direction it's going again. Uh, so it's going to go Elliotsville... Now, what's the terrain doing here? This, we could hug the coast and then kind of come around uh, and then link up with uh, with our new station over here. So there's a nice straight line. It kind of is lending itself to going up to Blackpool and then round, isn't it? Which is, I think, I think maybe that's what we're going to do, you know? Yeah. The thing is, it isn't that... 
it's quite a dog leg to go around a black pool, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's not what we're going to do. We're going to... Town Hall meeting to NIMBY. Uh, so I think we're going to end up with a railway that actually cuts along on the same route as this one. But it's a different railway company. So what, what happens when different railway companies build their railways? Well, they, uh, they pretend each other don't exist. It's a pretty normal thing for them to do. So there we go. I'm going to build this bit here so I know where I'm joining up to. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to join up and go around the coast. Yeah, there we are. Let's see what we got. Yeah, there we are. Nice. Nice. Uh, and we're going to go through here. Much more substantial because it's a much bigger railway company than the old freight. So they're going to go for kiboshing some terrain. Uh, there we are. We also need to make sure that I don't miss my right so i need to make these straights go out here i mean obviously this isn't how you actually do a railway in real life you don't just randomly build bits of it the earthwork looks a little suspect you know what you know what jack <laughs> right so um where am i, where am I gonna go now i also need to work out what my core what's my core but i can these are gonna be my main platform so these are the ones that are gonna extend outwards and then all the other stuff i can do later yeah, happy days. Uh, which means I need to build a new one of these, which is fine. Uh, truck station. Do, 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 do. Uh, yes, I know that screwed that up. Uh, because... Uh, yeah, let's change that to there and let's just delete Ooh, there's that again let's pick up wood <laughs> lovely lovely marvelous happy days which then allows me to continue my journey of destruction happy no nah, happy times happy times so can I, I can't quite continue that let's do that that's a pretty flat curve. It's almost like too flat. It looks too flat for this era, but actually it's fine. It's only because it's basically like, as with all computer games, it's like a, basically a model railway. Uh, so now, where's my suspect earthwork that someone was talking about? It's not going to be suspect because we're gonna we're gonna tunnel it. Uh, there we go days boom nice little tunnel everyone loves a railway tunnel now how are we going to get over this lot i kind of think that i need to in hindsight i should have climbed a little bit there because i kind of want to skip over the top of all this junk uh let's have a think Oh, the alignment's duff anyway. Okay, well, that's kind of good. So, let's get rid of all that. So, here we go. If I continue this as a straight line. It kind of works. Except that. That's probably about what I need, isn't it? There we go. Uh, and. Jeez. I mean, you would not have a. Oh, God. The only thing is, you just would never have a bridge. At, the bridge would be on the flat at this point. So I am uneasy about this. Vertical design is, is mildly unrealistic. We're going to do that, and then what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, actually bulldoze that and that and do something more like this. Yeah, there we are. There we go. And then join the dots off that, so... 
go. <sighs> it does remember there's a stump nearby. Yeah, I should have blown it up first, shouldn't I? That's that's the mistake I made. I, I always forget which order you have to do it in. There we go. I mean, what have I created? That is not. That's not a thing. It's the most impressed. That's that gives Mainhead Viaduct a run for its money. Uh, I didn't realize quite how shallowly I was. Um, yeah, that ain't. That's that's not satisfying my sensibilities. Forget that. Let's do that again. Uh, there we are. Now, I think I need this. Why, why? Why why now are you doing this? This is the joys of um maybe if I do it just do it here. No, I need to go up a bit, that's why. Why? Why are you making these sorts of noises, game? Hmm. Old shift, it might be more willing to make a bridge. Okay, yeah. Let's try. It's not high enough, that's why, isn't it? I thought it was high enough, but apparently not. One, two, three, four. Let's do one. It's a bit more like it. Nah, how sharp is that compared to the other? It's going to have to be a, a reverse curve, but I, I'm at peace with that. That's fine. That's fine. It's kind of how skew structures work. Uh, there we go. Right, okay, let's do another. And. Was acting very clean. Okay, that's better. Let's just see which one works best. Uh, yeah, that'll do me. That's a bit more like it, isn't it, folks? Uh, we're there. Why do these things happen? There we go. Let's just get this looking right. There we go. No. Yeah. Oh, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. So now I need to. resolution to our vertical problem. Now let's shoot this along. Yeah, so. Yep. Not doing much talking. This is a fantastic stream, isn't it, for you? Really, uh, why are my settings appearing in there? Oh yeah, that's why, because there are no parameters to add to the track. Right, so... <laughs> Why am I doing this sort of thing, you might ask? Well, it's because... Because of these reasons. Uh, there we go. Uh, I think that now... I'm trying to get the an actual viable alignment, because bodging it 
doesn't satisfy my sensibilities, you see. Uh, which I think this is now sorted, so that should now be a decent bit of vertical alignment to get to the viaduct. There we go, and now we just need to connect up through here to our whatever we created, which will involve a bit of tunnel, but that's fine. Oh, so, now let's see what this looks like if we continue on the straight and level. How quickly does this screw us over in terms of where we want to end up? Uh, not too bad. Probably want to kind of come across this way a bit. That's uh, so we need a bit more straight on this side. Or do I want to make this a flatter tunnel? Let's see now. For me, I always want to make a standard curve, so that's obviously I need a bit more straight there. Curve that's got about the right amount of. So if you've got um, if you if you've got a flat radius on one side, you need to extend it a bit. And obviously this isn't perfect, but um, for me, I think geometry is really important. If you don't have a railway that looks right, um, it's as with city skylines. If the railway doesn't look right, um, I think you're. I actually need a little bit of. There we go. I think they were. I think we're there now. 214. Ah. Was it 102, 114? Oh, okay, so I need a bit less on this side. And this is where this comes in. Thank you. Surely we're there now. 106, oh my goodness. More straight needed on the other side. Or is it? I think if I if I extend this now. Uh, no. If I extend this here and drop this down to this. should have the flexibility then to play with the length of my there we go 120 and 20 that's that's what I want uh, perfect just gonna allow me to do this we're doing we're nearly there folks with our bit of railway here uh, I think there we go that's not an unreasonable cutting. Ah, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, so we've now connected up. We have now connected up our... Um, I mean, we haven't quite. We've got... There's, there's work to be done over here. Anyway, right. So now we need to work out how we get into a station we haven't designed and built yet. What are your thoughts, people? Finding a solution for every... Well, what's this? Oh, crikey. There's a massive discussion going on about... <laughs> A huge discussion in the chat going on about um, contactless payments by the look of it. This is tricky. So I, I'm not sure where we're going to shove this station. Uh, because the terrain is quite steep on one side of the town. Ah, but there is a narrowing. I think that's us. You know, I think that's it. I think I've cracked it. Uh, there we are. Collision. What am I colliding with? Uh, okay. I think this is. I think this is our station. You know. There it is. Oh crikey! That's a lot of destruction. As ever. Really pulling out the big guns in terms of wiping out as much of the local sort of infrastructure as possible. There we go, that. I should do that. I hope that's solved that. Let's just show me a couple of extra tracks. Days. Oh let's let's expand our passenger building as well a little bit. Let's it's our, our little local Great Western vernacular, whatever it is. Uh if I bulldoze this it's, it's gonna take that. You've gone mate Soz. Right. Now we have to connect. We need a bit of a so we need a reverse curve here, then a bit of an intermediate straight, then another curve. That's fine. 
to the inside curve here. Uh, there it is, that's just about 120. Looks good. Good. Actually, we don't need we don't need that road at all. It's actually not not a sharp enough curve. Yeah. So if we come through, so the point, basically, the point is we're trying to connect. I'm now trying to connect this up. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do an old trick. There we are. Oh, the thing is, I don't want to do that trick because I'm going to demolish a lot of trees. There we are. Let's do. So let's do. Seventy-five. Uh, so from here is seven. Okay. Ninety-five. Oh, God. Ninety-two. So it's just from there, maybe. That'll do. That'll do me. Very nice. Uh, so I'm just trying to get the hands of the curve. When you've got a compound curve, if you want a realistic looking railway in this game, uh, try and have your curves not being compound curves, you know, not with like huge, huge long sort of uh, random curvature that doesn't make any real sense. Uh, you want to have straights and regular curves. Oh, the game had a St. Pancras style front. Well, I think the game's not bad in terms of giving a little bit of an interesting architectural flair. There's only so much they can do. I think mods probably add a load of extra in, but I, I've not, in honesty, I've not uh, looked at, in great detail the architectural mods. I'm not sure what they've got. So, talking of regular curves, uh, that involves... Does this involve slicing an entire mountain up? Actually, it's not that bad. That, to me, seems all right, actually. Let's go 115. I'm I'm very much at peace with that because uh, there we go. That to me looks like a, quite a reasonable bit of uh, earthwork. There, oh, nice. So that's looking pretty good. Oh, except we're not out of the woods yet. Let's just get the contour map up. Ah, okay. So we kind of want to uh, maybe even yeah yeah yeah. Let's let's bosh that. And is this going to... Yeah, 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 that's fine. So let's just skim that down there. Lovely. Of course, when all the railways were built, they really did have to balance, cut, and fill because they, they very much used the one material uh, that they were... Uh, yeah, the good stuff that they were nabbing out of... Uh, earthwork uh, sort of uh, cuttings and then using that for the for the embankments but we're, we're not I'm not gonna worry too much about that because the game doesn't work like that uh, in this instance at least uh, that's kind of the vague direction I want to go good uh, is it yes <laughs> okay good uh, good, lovely, nice, nice curve there. It's much more pleasingly graded than the other one. Uh, ah, right, okay, so here we go. So this is where... Uh, actually, I want to go... 120, 120. So that doesn't look quite... That still looks a bit flat on the other side, so I'm going to extend this a long bit. Uh, but I also want to just make that nice and flat. That'll do me. Because there's, a, if I do recall, the other curve there's 115 as well. So that... Oh. There, perfect. Now, how are we doing? That is a fairly sizable cutting, but not crazy. We've got 
the railway running along there. We've got a viaduct over the existing industrial bit of railway. We've got the need to basically we've got a need to connect our stations up. But actually, uh, we're kind of there, aren't we? Uh, this is Elliotsville. Great question. What are you thinking, folks? Uh, so. So we're using existing railway for some of it and uh, new railway for other bits, which is which is fine. Fine. Uh, let's now. So this is going to be the main bit of railway. It's going to be this central bit, I think. Uh, which. I need to now join up fairly neatly. Uh, with. Oh, the music's very grand, isn't it? 70, 60, 70. Let's balance this out a bit. Lovely. Uh, so that's our connection to our. There we go. Lovely. Now, what's this station going to look like in terms of station throat design? Let's get my P Wave crayons out. Uh, let's see what we can get to. We could do a standard fan, or we could do. Um, you know, we could have a, a kind of a. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, too much curvature. Okay. Um, I thought you could do that. This is 60, yeah, 60, and then from here we'll then. So this is a, this is certainly not what you do for a modern railway, but for a for an older railway, it's a bit more realistic. Uh, they often just you know they didn't care about maintenance costs, which is which is something that you really do have to think about when you're designing a a modern railway network. Uh, but in these days, you just had uh, people coming in and, and getting involved. So that there we are, nice. Uh, shiny fairly straightforward uh, bit of railway there is one other thing we have to do though which is to allow us to get from one side to the other which is up until now i've been building um scissors crossovers but actually in this instance i'm going to do a I have a 60 uh, crossover in one direction a kilometer an hour in one direction and 60 in the other so that there is there the ability to get from all 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 uh, all tracks to all tracks there we go uh chances are this what would I do with the modern railway? I'd need more space. So, for example, uh, well, for starters, you wouldn't have S and C that's all smooshed up like this. You'd have, um, you'd probably have uh, this line would go out sort of uh, long. It'd be kind of along here for longer. Uh, if you look at the all the common track designs, you can see um, you can get the maps up uh, off HS2. That's what a modern railway would look like, where you'd have um, you'd sort of have a, a long turnout going into this road, and then a long turnout into the middle one, and you'd have kind of much longer uh, kind of approaches. King's Cross is an example of the opposite, where they they originally had six platforms and actually uh, sorry six tunnels, not just north of the station, and we're reinstating one of them, but. Um, Lots and lots of spread into all the platforms has to happen from four tracks very, very rapidly. So that's uh, suboptimal. Um, one other thing, I think I've, I've said that, but actually, do I wanna, yeah, that, I'm going to leave that like that for now. It might be that capacity is limited by this arrangement, and then at that point I have to rethink it. But for now, that'll do nicely. Uh, so that's one end. At the other end, so basically, you'll start seeing what a modern railway uh, yeah basically built victoria you'll start seeing what a modern railway looks like when um when we have to start changing the layout because um modern track layouts also um allow more operational flexibility too which is a good thing uh, so we want uh we'll go for 50 there days and i'm gonna do what we'll do here uh, let's, do, let's do that for 60 now i'm gonna run this one along here for a bit Let's do uh, uh, 50 marvelous. Uh, and uh, actually, let's just do that straight there. And let's go in here for 60, and then I'll do this for 
60, and then again in the other direction. Let's see if we can get 60 turnout in before the curve starts. Uh, the answer is no, we cannot, but that's fine. That'll do. So there, we, I mean, that's that's the only thing we need to do now is is set up our um. It's essentially set up my signaling. So uh, I'm gonna have one on the start of the straight here as our first signaling block, and then another one here, and then another one on the other side of the bridge. Uh, all the signalers on the on the on here are now like. What in God's name are you doing? But I'm just, you know, setting up my signal blocks. Uh, they're lovely. Bro roughly even spacings ish. Uh, yeah. Marvelous. Marvelous. Uh, excellent, lovely, happy days in the station. And then another one here. And another one here. And another one, quite possibly, uh, quite possibly Michael C. Uh, I, I don't know if, thing is, I, I, it's quite, so the reason I've done some of the work off stream on this is because it's quite fun to play with, it's almost more fun to play with an existing railway. I thought I'd do some railway construction, but actually the fun is often unpicking the railway that you've built, or certainly for me, since I, I suppose that's kind of my day job, is, is the railway is already there, and I'm working out how to improve it, and that's kind of part of the fun. Uh, this is now causing... I need to get rid of this signal block because it's now wrecking up a... It just doesn't work, does it? There are, so that's that's fine over there. Um, how am I going to do that one? I kind of need to... So this is... So, yeah. It's kind of... That's it. It's now the main line, so I need to kind of... Uh, oh, notice that everything's backwards. I'm not doing UK round because the signals and everything are set up the wrong way around. So I figured I'd um, do that. Do, do things... I have to work my brain out the wrong way around in, in kind of European and US style, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to set another one up. Let's do that just to allow things to move along there. Uh, is that now blocking? Is that... Let's, probably, let's, let's move it a little bit further, actually. If I don't, that's fine. Let's move this, delete these two. Yeah, there we go, good. Um, let's keep at it. So that's all fine. Let's, uh, to be fair, that now is, uh, oh, no, I probably do need to. There's a triple track section here, I think, and that's just to allow for the, timber traffic uh, there we go and now I think this now has to have the priority so that's fine and then I kind of it's not a huge amount but it's, it's some signal blocks we'll let that see what happens we now need to get trains into this system we need another um, building which is this thing we need, we need a train depot so um, where are we going to do? Where are we going to do it? Where are we going to put it? I think I'm not going to put it there because it'll end up getting in the way of things. I think we're going to put it up. Ah, it's connected up here. Maybe. Uh, I think this is a new railway company. I think they're going to want their own railway shed. Let's face it. That's it's, it's an unavoidable truth. But we just need to work out where that's going to go. Uh, yeah, here. Here is where it's going to go. Uh, yep. Uh, go shed number one. Just need to connect it up with some track. I mean, what's funny is I've talked about turning this into a network. Actually, all we've done is really create one passenger line, but we'll we'll get there. But what time is it? Eighteen forty. We've got fifteen minutes to sort of. Maybe start thinking about additional passenger services. Um, why no exit signals for platforms? Uh, because you don't need them in this, because it automatically essentially treats it like there is an exit platform on the on on each uh, an exit signal on each platform, I, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, though. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. Uh, oh, 
god. Yeah, this is this is the trouble. I kinda need this to connect to everything. Uh yes. Oh, I should have done I should do my uh I'll do the crossovers the way around. That was the way I'll do that. There we go. And let's just Fifty, and then we'll do. It's going to be a sixty. There we go. Sixty. Oh, come on. Oof. Sixty. Uh, I'm going to break some rules and do a. Oh no! Come on. Come on now. Can I get a sixty in? Yes, I can. Nice. Normally, you wouldn't interlace S and C like that, but. This is the olden days, uh, and so I can do what I like. There we go, that, that sort of connects me to where I need to be. Let's get the new line on the go. We're going to go from uh, starting at Southport Great Western, going to Elliotsville Great Western. Uh, we'll worry about the ding ding in a minute. Uh, we're going to then work our way through to. Shanklin Great Western, and then finish in, uh, where are we? Finish in Flitter Great Western, and then we're going to just basically reverse, reverse the thing there. Happy days. Uh, Elliotsville, and then. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I forget, you don't need the one at the end. There we go. So uh, that's there. We go. That's our first service. So this is the. Uh, let's do the GWR, and this is uh, Southport to Flit. Wait. There we go. What colour are we doing GWR? I'm actually well up for brown. Should we keep it brown? Um, and we're gonna do what's platform we're gonna do? This is this is like the this is the main service. So I think we're gonna shift this to platform three. There we go. Uh, there we go. Let's double check that these aren't all twisted. Got the knickers twisted. No, good. Uh, ditto in Shanklin. Everything seems happy. This is going to be busy, so you can see we've already got some challenges. Uh, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Let's uh, go here. Let's see terminals. Uh, no, no, this terminals. Can we change it to platform? Platform four. Yeah, I'll do. Nice. That's quite, I think that's quite grand. There we are. Uh, and all we need now are some trains to run the service. So let's do that. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go into the Great Western Railway Shed number one. Buy some trains. We're going to make, what colour are we going to They're going to be brown. Uh, we're going to buy, how many are we going to do? We're going to have just one. But we're going to, I propose we buy two for now. There's a, a little coach. And we're going to buy. Basically, keep doing this until it goes to poor. That's normally what I do. There we go. How many coaches is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, yeah, stuff it. There we go. And this is going to go to Great Western Southport to Flitic. Boosh. I'm happy with that. Look at that. It's exciting, isn't it? Oh, it is in my mind. So, first thing, we need to name these trains. So, uh, GWR uh, uh, Passenger, because these are the services. Oh, actually, no, what, what do we want to call it? Are we going to call it the um, Flit Flick Flyer? Yeah, do the same thing on the other one. Flitic Flyer, that's nice, isn't it? Brown, brown. Brown, much brown. Let's go in and see it happen. There we go. I hear train noises. Look at these, they're very nice, aren't they? Very smart. For that very nice. Let's uh, let's pop just because it's a good idea to not, you know. Yeah, 
signals are good. I think these look quite grand. There we go. Brilliant. So now... I mean, that's it. It's done. That's it. It's off. It's a, it's a railway service. What can I say? What I'm going to do is, with this one, is... Uh, can I now... I flip it round so that it goes that way. And then this, so that should now be blocked. Good. Oh, God. Don't, let's not worry about that happening. Uh... So basically, the two of them are going to be perfect. A decent separation between them. That's now going to go and collect passengers up in uh, Southport Great Western. There we go. This is exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. So, good. Are we about to witness a crash? No. I think we've already witnessed a crash. There's, there's an issue over here with two trains. Oh, what's the, what's the issue here? Where's this train, then? Why is the... Oh. Oh, is it because it wants to... Why, no, why is that an issue? Oh, let's do this, and this will make this fixed, I think. Uh. Now, why is this... What issue is this line reporting? Oh god, everything, it's already broken, everyone. It's already broken. What's the issue? So, Shanklin Great Western to, yeah. Are they both at platform two? Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Terminals, so we kind of want this to be on platform one. Has that fixed it? It has fixed it. Good. Everything's fixed. Hooray. Oh, goodness me. No, no crashes. Everything is fine. Trains are waiting. Uh, we might find ourselves four-tracking this little bit pretty rapidly, I think. Yeah, I think it's inevitable. So, uh, anyway, we got we got trains going around. There's a where was this one going? What's that one? Uh, oh, this, this is it. Let's just uh, let's enjoy this moment. That's nice. got to admire our handiwork, haven't we? We're not going to worry about the horrendously unrealistic arch span over that railway, or the fact that it does not need that gauge clearance. There we go, look at that. That's a little train going past. Happy days. Toot toot. Here's your thumbnail. Yeah, that's a very good point. I have to now go back and, and pause it. But anyway, that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, there is the thumbnail, Jen. You're absolutely right. So that that's that. That's happening. So we've got that railway. We've got... Uh, how long have we been streaming for? Uh, 1 hour 19. So we've got 10 minutes now to think about uh, connecting up to other places. So, for example... Oh my god. Let's not worry about the freight situation. Going, what, what, are these, what are these up to? Uh, I just need more. Why has it not got any in it? Uh, let's very quickly, while I'm here, just do some problem solving. Uh, yeah. Let me uh, very quickly pop in a little loop here. 
this. A loop. Let's get that loop in and uh, order another train. What have we got? Let's just duplicate that. Boom. There we go. Hopefully it's going to come out of here. Nope, it ain't coming out of here. No, never mind. Oh no, it is coming out of here. Good. Because we need more movement of oil to here. This is not getting nearly enough of the good juice. I need to do quite a bit of that sort of thing off stream, methinks. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's not worry about the freight situation, proceeds to worry about the freight situation. Uh well, I know Jen, but oh god. You know. These things are stressful. So we've got another station up here that uh, is quite nice. Which maybe we can think about um so what, we're in 1856, which is, uh, you know, that's nice. Are we now going to take the chance to expand this station and turn it into a bit of a passenger terminus? Maybe that's what we should do. Uh, so that's one line that we might look at. Uh, let me just pull these up. Yeah. That's so one thing we might do is, is have a look at this. Basically, I'm going to, we're not going to do it now, but I'm going to make my suggestions. And what you have to do in the YouTube comments, tell me what you'd like to see the next branch line doing. So we've opened the first main railway that's kind of connecting this sort of coastal line. It's, uh, it's a bit of a dog leg, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. Um, what we need to do is is connect that up. We need to connect it up to uh, some of the other outlying towns. Um, so that's probably a good idea. So like a couple of branch lines, maybe one branch line going out to Bristol and another one up to Stevenage and another one. Blackpool's clearly missing out on the fun, so we need something going there. But if you go to Blackpool at that point, then probably not starting to connect up to um you know uh going out along here using some of this railway line so deciding on which line to to, to steal uh and if you do that at that point you're starting to think about connecting some of these networks so what are your suggestions we've got uh put the suggestions in your comments need a straw poll yeah <laughs> um so We've got this, so we've got this station here up at Kingston. It's got um, actually got quite a major bit of mainline railway. That's mostly just carrying. What is it carrying? I think it's just carrying. Um, yeah, it's carrying a decent amount of food. Yeah, so it's carrying food supplies. Why is it going so slowly? Who knows? Um, World Cup of branch line suggestion. Yeah, that's it. So um, we've got connections to make up. So the other thing is, is it's probably worth me getting this. Up. Let's get the towns up, and then we can screenshot this. So we're going to list towns by size uh, and have a look at this. There we go. Let's go to the top. So we've got a load of towns of... Uh, we've got Morton Hampstead, which is connected to nothing at the moment. There's... Oh, no, there is a little... Oh, there's a big part. There's, there's a station here. Just a little station on the outskirts. That's a little freight station, I think, I presume. Yeah. So uh, there's Morton Hampstead. That's currently the biggest settlement on the map, so perhaps we need to start thinking about connecting that into the network. Shanklin's already connected, so we've got Shanklin. There we are, there's Shanklin. Although, even though it's the second biggest place, it's only kind of got this little station on the side here. But So maybe there needs to be a connection between Shanklin and Morton Hampstead. Maybe that's the next thing we need to do. Kingston is all the way over here. It's another one of our big settlements. So uh, how are we going to connect Kingston over to... Unfortunately, the, it disappears, but I think it's this direction, isn't it? Where is it? Yeah, so that's a really long way away. So connecting uh, connecting Kingston by rail uh, is quite a substantial undertaking. But maybe that's what we need to do is, is go for a major new mainline railway and then connect in some branch lines to it. Maybe that's the suggestion. People are suggesting a mainline. Maybe the mainline is the right thing. Clacton. Uh, well, no, you can't do anything about Clacton because it's, it's on an island all of its own. And it's quite well connected in terms of... Uh, in terms of ferry connections, actually. What else? Bury. Uh, Bury is actually... Um, it's got a freight connection already that's probably reasonably exploitable. So it's got quite a nice connection that you could then exploit and link up to uh, the rest of the rail network. So you could connect up to Kingston there. So I think Bury's all right. I think that's quite an easy one. I think in terms of a, expanding that to be a to be a branch line railway with... Uh, you know, so freight and uh, passenger services. I think that's quite an easy one. I'm 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 erring towards a connection between uh, between Shanklin and Kingston. Actually, that's my that's my instinct. Or or between Kingston and the the, the Western Seaboard. You know, our our, our nice set of uh, railway that we've just built. 
Uh, what else have we got? Portsmouth is uh, a gun on an island, and it's there's not much you can do about that. Mag hull. So by the time you get, okay, they're not that big and exciting. So I think so. So it's basically a decision for you folks in the comments underneath this video. What would you like me to do next? I'll pick it up next week probably, or maybe the week after, but probably next week actually because I'm enjoying this. It's good fun. Um, and whether we want a main line or we want some branch lines, branch lines can be quite nice, you know, maybe. Um, anyway, I leave it to you, and I will see you all uh, four minutes until my meeting. Good. <laughs> I will see you all uh, next time, actually. That's, uh, that's been fun, I think. Uh, yeah, thanks. Um, thanks for sticking with it. I will, um, yeah, I will see you. When will I see you? I'll see you in a week. Well, I'll see you tomorrow night for Rail Natter, which I need to set up. When we're going to go on a nice scenic tour of my old stomping ground where I grew up, between Inverary and Elgin. But um, until then, I will see you... Well, no, I'll just see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye! Cheerio!